to you, I mean, you're a fighter. This guy's been around forever. Or, you know, if you just have any comment on him and as he says goodbye. You know, I've had a, I've had a, uh, when I was doing the Metro Minute, I had a really good time poking in front of Tito. Uh, you know, I'd always make some kind of Tito joke or whatever. But the reason why I did that is because Tito's a legend. You know, and and uh, he made a, a, a massive difference in this sport. Uh, from the time he came in, his personality, his persona, um, and, and his, 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 his attitude, uh, unapologetically, the way he is. Uh, and it was, it's, 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 been, it's been cool for me to be coming in there out of nowhere, right? Like no, no fights, nothing else. We're an ultimate fighter being a, a douchebag, an ultimate fighter. And, and, um, and then started poking fun at Tito uh, just to get his eye or just get some attention out of it. Um, and then when I, when I finally met him, I never met him before. When I finally met him, we almost got in that scrap at the, at the summit. And then after I lost to Chad Congo, I finally had a, I, we were at the same club that night. I was all lumped up, my face all bleeding and stuff. And, and I was like, hey man, I just, like, now that I have a chance to talk to you, I'm like, I was just being a dick. You know, just kind of like, I kind of pulled one of your cards, like just kind of stealing some thunder and, and whatever else. And he's been cool to me ever since. Like even when I was in London for my fight against Ali Thompson, uh, my son was with me because we were going to go on a vacation afterwards. And, uh, and I was like, well, I don't really know what to do with Jacob. And Tito was like, hey, he's like, he's like, Give me. He's like leave him with me. He's like, let me chill. He's like, my name's Jacob too. I started talking to Jake about everything under the sun. And um, he, he's, he's a damn good dude. Man. Like, I think like, he's, he's, he's not chill. He's not, he's not eloquent with words and on the mic and anything else. But Tito's a legend. He, he, he helped build the sport. And uh, the fact that it's his last fight, I really hope he does as well as possible. Matt, what do you think about a fighter's union? Well, I, mean, I think everybody knows I'm a big fan of the fighter's union. Right? I think that uh, I think as long as it's done properly, I think that the fact that there are three split factions, I think, is highly unfortunate that people can't put their egos aside and be like, all right, look, let's get the common good here. Let's let's work for these goals. Um, let's have everybody that can be possibly informed, be as informed as this. Say, look, these are the top five things that we have to do. Top seven things that we have to do. Then you focus on those things, and afterwards, after we get everybody to make a vote, to make everything work, now we can bicker and jockey for position about, well, I did this, and I did that, and I want to be this. I, I, I couldn't care less who, who's in power for whatever, um, but the, everybody's ego uh, is affecting the greater good. What's the number one reason for it? Is it for guys who retire? Is it to protect guys? Like, what specific things? I think it's protection, right? What are you talking, what are you talking about? The, 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 jack, the, ego, the ego jacking? No, 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 no the reason about? for a union in general. You guys have been doing this Oh, yeah, I mean, I mean so it's, 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 it's that we're, we're, we've been taken advantage of willingly because we're, we're, we, I don't think many of us were educated enough on the, 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 finer, the finer aspects of, of, of a business uh, or being an athlete. And I think that we were taken advantage of for a long time. I think that we were naive about a whole lot. And I think that we were so afraid of either being cut or being um, blackballed or giving really bad fights or whatever, or being, uh, oh yeah, you fight four times last year, but now you split out, uh, you're gonna fight once this year, and it's gonna be at the end of the year. Uh, kind of a situation where you, you have to scrap for cash, you know, or pick up a side job or whatever else. I think we're always so f afraid of the, the, the retribution on that. Um, so I, I think that, uh, I think that's the reason why we need to hear I think the fact that we can have somebody that we can lean on that can go fight for us, you know, when some sideways stuff happens, which does happen on a regular basis, right? Like, like for example, there's this, I have a friend of mine who, who, who just got signed to fight a, a major, major name in a different organization, uh, and, the, and, and the, a, a, a ranked guy. Um, my friend is not ranked at all, pretty much off the radar. And he's gonna get peanuts to fight him. Like, that's, what? <laughs> You're gonna fight a guy who's one of the best in the world, and you're gonna get peanuts to fight him, and there's nothing there for you. Like, and then and, and he's too afraid to, to ask for for say, look, man, I feel like this is the situation. I want a rider on this or whatever else. Like, this there's needs no to be sustainability. There. He's no, fighting a top level guy right? for nothing. For yeah. nothing, for peanuts, or just for the opportunity to say I'm in the UFC or or or, 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 or Ryzen or whoever. That's madness. Like, you need to be counted. You're gonna risk never being the same human being ever again every time you walk in the cage. And you're gonna do that for peanuts just to appease these dudes to hopefully that they're gonna come back and, and give you some kind of a fair shake. What happens if you beat this guy who's ranked in the world? They're gonna give you an easier fight next time for pennies? Hell no, you're getting paid more because you just won and you just showed this. So now you're gonna fight, have a harder fight for a, 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 for a toenail's worth more money? Go to hell, man. It's not when you add up all the money you've made in your fights, is it, is it worth the damage or do you feel you deserve uh, more? I'm a, I, would, I always deserve more, man. Can cool. <laughs> like, I always deserve more. Like we don't get paid enough. But like just like the Diaz is say, like doesn't matter how much I get paid, I, get, I deserve more, right? Like it's a situation that comes up. Uh, like especially, dude, I fought my first, and I understand I was on Ultimate Fighter and I had no fights ahead of time. Uh, but I fought my first seven fights for 
three and eight and eight, three at 10 and 10, and one for 12 and 12, right? So like, and I lost two of those, I lost for 10 and 12, so that's what, what's that, uh, 16, 30, 32, 48. Uh, I fought eight fights for less than $100,000. Like, really? That's it adds up to minimum wage if you divide the years and the yeah, hours. I mean, yeah, I'm sure it does. Uh, and that's, that's not fair for people to come in. So we bumped it up. Okay, so now the base is 12 and 12 now. All right, well, if you lose, you're still fighting for 12 and 12. Like, there's, you know, there, there's, there's nothing. And it's stupid. A split purse is, is ignorant. All it is is a way for promoters to save money and to put a, a carrot in front of a horse. That's all it is. Like, oh, well, if you win, you're going to go, you, you'll, you'll, get, you'll get 24 grand. Well, who, who's, who's fighting out there? That, all that does is, A, makes safe fighters to fight like bullshit, right? Or it makes it... it, it it makes it so you can't, you can't base your financial life. You can't say, well, well, after this fight, I'll have 24 grand. After this fight, well, again, that's what people do. That's how they get in trouble. Like, well, after this, because you always think you're going to win, I'll get 24 grand. Well, dude, you lost. So now you get 12 grand, plus you have to pay out your, your percentages and, and your coaches and your, your, your taxes and everything else. Good job. You got 4,000 bucks. Good for you. You know, and that's the way it is. And then, so you end up and you're like, what the hell do I do? Now you're living on a couch of some guy that you don't know that well because you're living in a gym and you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're shouting. Yeah, yeah, really, man. Yeah. Like, and you're headlining I mean, on TV. Yeah, right? Yeah, good, yeah. And you're, 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 you're on the main card. Everybody knows your name now, but you ain't got shit for it. Good, good job, Chuck. You know, like, that's the way it goes. It's a rough gig. But like you say, well, you choose to be in that profession. Well, yeah, but we should have, we should have rights and protections for us. And that's the reason why we need a union to bring it back to that. All right, guys. Thanks for your time, man. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, Matt. No problem. I'm a walking yeah. sound bike. Yeah. <laughs> what you know about the Ninja Turtles? Super Bowl. Well, I know about them. <laughs> um, Patriots.